application of laws of logarithms. Write y as a function of x and state domain and range. Log of xy equals to half of log of x minus 3. We need to isolate y. So applying the laws, product xy could be written as sum of log of x plus log of y. So that is the left side. On the right side, we get half of log x minus 3. So we could write this as log of square root of x minus 3. Correct? So that is how we can write the right side using the power rule. Now we need to isolate y. So we get log of y equals 2. We can take this on the right side. So we get log of square root of x minus 3 minus log of x. Now the right side could be written as a quotient. So we can write this as log of square root of x minus 3 divided by x. On the left we have log of y. Now since both the logs should be same, we get our result that is y is equal to square root of x minus 3 divided by x. So that is the function y in terms of x. Do you see that? Now as far as the domain and range is concerned, so let's figure out the domain first. So the domain of this function is x belongs to real numbers where x has to be greater than 3, right? Otherwise the numerator will be negative, right? So it is actually greater than or equal to 3, right? It can be equal to 3, 0 divided by anything will be 0, so y could be 0. But x minus 3 should not be negative, it has to be non-negative. Now denominator is 0 when x is 0, but since we are taking a domain which is greater than 3, so, so that is already avoided. So that becomes the domain of the function, right? Now as far as the range is concerned, what you can do is you can sketch this kind of right and so we have x minus 3 that square root function just to give you an idea so which is kind of like this right so square root function is translated 3 units to the right now this is divided by x now x basically y equals to x is a line which is like this right as you can see it is always positive do you see that it is always positive so whenever you'll divide positive by positive you'll get a positive number starting from 0 to infinity correct and therefore we can write down the range for this function as y belongs to real numbers where y is greater than or equal to 0. Right? So that becomes the range for this function. I hope is absolutely clear. Thank you and all the best.